What is going on, YouTube? It's Wilson back with episode two of Band of Brothers. The reaction to the first episode went absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for the support on that one and all the new people joining us for this journey. If you are new and you missed it, you can go check that one out. It's up on the channel. I'm joined once again by EJ. He has seen all 10 episodes of this. I have not. If you want to stick around, drop a like, hit that sub button. Really appreciate it if you enjoy the video. Drop a comment. Let me know your favorite part of this episode. Let's get into it. Hmm. Journey is going to be a an interesting one. Ups and downs, and you know, we'll take those in stride just along with the boys that are uh, on our screen. Yeah, I'm just most worried for for winners, probably. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. Tough call. He gets in some tight spots, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> you mean writer's block? Or? <laughs> but no, no touch, you know? Who knows? He's got such an opening blast from the, the opening shot from the blast that it broke this chin strap that we had on this helmet liner and, and uh, that's when i lost this famous leg bag that everybody talks about just from the shock of the opening and we lost a lot of people that night but uh you try to put it all on your mind damn damn man one of the worst things seeing old people cry man fuck that Is it Simon Pegg? Yeah. And like, I don't even. What like, what what even goes through your mind? I don't even know. I know. I the, can't even. The, the things you're thinking and feeling is, I just, it's really just something I feel like. You have and there, to yeah. A lot of people pointed out, reminded like, all these people are like, our age or younger. Well, my age or younger, like really young. Early 20s, like... Yeah, I'm sure in there, 20 to 30, a lot of... Some of the... Current, and stuff. Apparently Winners is like, tw supposed to be 24 and he's the oldest. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, so that's, I'm 24, so like, that's crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Jesus, my God. Jesus. 2001? I mean, this is pretty effects-wise. Really good. Yeah. Damn, Some man. of it, you know, they're like, for the most part, they try to do a good job. Oh, that sequence was fucking terrifying. I don't even know what's going on. Who's... Well, neither do they. Was that a, was that a leg thing? That broke? Yeah, that bag that they added on. So that guy that said that was winners in the, in the beginning. I think, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, fuck that. Let's go the other way. Guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone, huh, sir? Yeah, or both of us. Do you have a weapon, sir? Just my knife. Just his knife. First, I need your help. Locate some landmarks to get our bearings. I'm thinking about a like, different landing zone. Did, it, did I, everything fall? You know, like yeah. in my head, like when the plane got hit, I'm like, well, that equipment check's fucked because <laughs> <laughs> there was some things might have fallen. And like, where are we? The confusion. It's, Jesus. I saw a sign back that way. It said San Merrick Lees. This is not the time, Lieutenant. Flashlight. Oh. <laughs> We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. Oh, jeez. German! Wait for my command. 
That's a lot of guys. Oh no, Billy. Oh, the horses. Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yeah, Billy found his found his brother died. It didn't doesn't like him that much. Yeah. Man. No casualties. Nice. Well, uh, well executed ambush. Shout to me for killing Krauts. He just wanted you to wait for his command. Joe, he don't even drink. So? Who cares? I don't know. Yikes. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. Yes. Gotta take it. My name's Hall. That's so. Let's move out. He's gonna learn to return his fire, is all. Just gotta realize it ain't about you. I just heard his brother. Malarkey, shut your yap. Malarkey. Isn't that slang for bullshit? <laughs> all right, Sergeant Private Bullshit. Top of the mind to you, fellas. Enjoying the war? <laughs> Where are you from, son? <laughs> Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, what gives? What, what are you doing in a crowd uniform? My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. Join up in 41. Really? Yeah, that, that was something Hitler, Hitler would recruit people back. Like the Aryan, like the pure Germans. Damn. Lieutenant Mia? Oh, no. no one's seen him or anyone from this plane. You know, if he is missing, wouldn't that put you in line to be the next commander of Easy? Oh. Wow. I mean, I figured. That's a cold motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's like, you know, it's risk keeping them alive. Yeah, absolutely. Especially on this day, like you're just landing. You're... Zero risk if they're uh, alive. It's a shame. They're probably young, too. Yeah. Some of them probably don't understand what's really going on. Or maybe they do, and then fuck them. I don't know. Well. There are two guns that we know of firing on Utah Beach. And plan on a third and a fourth. We'll take some TNT along with us. To spike the guns. Compton, Malarkey, Toy, Garnier. Okay. We'll be making the main assault. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, gosh. Draw their fire to the right from the truck. Take two men and hit them from the left. Damn, winners are so good. So well orchestrated. <laughs> Sobel would have been fucked. <laughs> yeah. You know, he wouldn't have made it off the plane, probably. Damn, up in the trees. Nice. Oh, did you sit a duck? Up on the left. Let him rip. Yeah. Nice. There's one. Oh, oh nice. Ooh, man. He's gone jammed the first time you got I know, it. right? Oh my god! Uh, 
Unlucky bastard, Joe. My God. These long shots that they do are crazy. Yeah. Oh! Nice. You just got bullets whizzing over your head nonstop. Your ass. <laughs> I should have left. That's a joke. Yo, man. He is an unlucky That's bastard. Okay. Fucking drop this one, motherfucker. Uh, Don't put the gun in his face. The brass knuckles, he got him. Must be doing something right, look. God, I'm so confused. They're firing on the third gun. We better blow this thing before they figure out what the hell is happening. I'm gonna go and see what. Oh, what nice. I think one of those dead crabs has a loser. This guy wants a fucking loser. <laughs> Malarkey, you're like my favorite, dude. Be careful. Oh, oh my God. Come on, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fire in the hole. Nice. What was that? No. Was that Hall? Fuck. Damn it. Hey, Damn son. It. I'm looking for battalion headquarters. Are you kidding? It's back down away. Do we know? Oh, my. Keep your damn head down. Man, just a consistent barrage of bullets. I know, man. it hasn't stopped. Yeah. Except when Malarkey went to get his fucking loot. <laughs> I know. Okay, back to battalion. Go, go. Out of the trench. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. I figure there's maybe 40 or so. Oh, there we go. Hey! I want to sit on a tank. Alright. If you have a reservation someplace else, I'd be happy to go with you. Thank you. Mmm. Yummy. Honestly, probably anything tastes so good. Yeah, for real. It's a hot meal. Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. Sir. I Joe, the lieutenant don't drink. A day of first. Yeah. Carry on. Shit, not I'm not drinking now. You're drinking with him. Oh, yeah. I'm not a Quaker. Dick, wait up. What? You know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, huge find. Here. Hall. Thanks. A John Hall, New Yorker. Got killed today at Breakor. It's a good man. Man. Not even old enough to buy a beer. Yeah, it's wild. Just one day. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? Still hasn't stopped. No. Damn. And if somehow I manage to get home again, I promise God and myself. That I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. 
Sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah, for sure. Hey, just wild. That's just one day out here. Okay, star, silver stars, buck pill. I don't know, Buck fumbled that grenade. Hey, you might get frost. <laughs> Joe Toy. Distinguished Toy. service. Let's go. Frustrated. Really? Wow. Been at West Point. Is that yeah, it? Man. Damn. I mean, yeah, that was like not perfect, but it was pretty damn good taking them guns. Yeah, real good. Especially like. First time in the field kind of thing like mm -hmm. the uh, winners is definitely the guy uh yeah he's he's who you want next to you or leading you yeah i couldn't i couldn't imagine sobel like, oh, oh. well yeah, there was supposed to be only two guns <laughs> yeah he, oh, he wouldn't have said like expect the third or fourth like winners to mm -hmm. uh, yeah they were able to adjust and yeah absolutely smash it Absolutely. I mean, not with losing Hall. It wasn't even part of their uh, E company, right? He was A, Alpha Company. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, but he's like, I lost a man when they're all, you know, it doesn't matter, you know. And he wasn't, you know, he probably, you know, he wasn't where he was supposed to be, but definitely helped, you know, take that last gun. So, yeah. I mean, he, he had the TNT to, to blow the first few. And yeah. He, he brought it. No one else seemed to have brought it. He was rushing in and tripwire, and that, I think that's that's what got him. Yeah, it's tough. It Other than that, though, I mean, not really any casualties. Popeye got one up the ass, but yeah, <laughs> got, an, got an ass blast. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's it's just crazy being in that moment. Like you got things that are just whizzing above your head that if you just poke out you're you're done that's yeah, that one yeah that one guy just literally looked to his side to talk to the guy that was next to him and yeah <laughs> done yeah that's it that's lights it. out it's like literally it's crazy yeah it's like i can't even like it's like these little like bullets are like these little things that are going so fast and if they hit you they kill you for most of the time and like, that's life like that's it and then that's, that's it like and, and they're the just whizzing they're past this. you you can't see them until it's too late yeah you just don't know and you just gotta kind of just hold your breath and fucking run and just head down and yeah it's oof and I, yeah the, the sequence was really good i mean the episode was really good but like the it, whole like oh, they do like these long shots and running behind like running shaky can like with in the trenches and following them and i, I could i could follow along pretty well you know as to what was going on but at the same time i don't think you're really supposed to get a grasp of everything because they sure as hell had no idea like their surroundings really and like you know it's not cut and dry like an action movie like you know what i mean like it's it seems pretty realistic which is which is really cool yeah it's it's just crazy i, I it reminds me of this this uh thing i watched on the corn gall valley which is in the middle east and there was a, a soldier who died there and Everyone on his platoon who said like this is this guy's the top soldier, you know what I mean? Like that, that he's like the epitome of what a soldier should be, you know, strong, smart, fast, all that stuff. And it's just he got unlucky and he and he caught a bullet. Just like if you these guys are freaking running out of trench, you know what I mean? It's just like you make yeah. one wrong. It's just sometimes it's just down to pure luck. It's it's yeah. It's just as crazy crazy what warfare is. It's just, Definitely. Wow. And then even uh that what was it, dog company, like they just ran like outside of the trenches. Like they because they went to take that gun and then they all just got most of them got gunned down. And it, it's yeah. you know, that you're like, Oh, they're gonna go get it. But if you're not smart, like, yeah, that's it. And you like I don't know, I call in those shots, like commanding officers, like like winners, yeah. like and that guilt would destroy me if, like, I told someone to go somewhere, and then that got them killed. I'd be like, "Well, oh, fuck!" It's, it's literally you're playing a game with human lives. Like, yeah, you're you're strategizing how to beat somebody and how to outsmart somebody. It's 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 just insane. Like, I mean, the responsibility that like Dick had in that, um, and and it's it's an interesting 
how with the last gun they showed like the different approaches different people would have and that spears guy just you know takes off out out of the trenches and yeah overwhelms them like that and putting putting his guys at risk you know that's not something i don't think dick would have done um no obviously he didn't do it um it's the way to do it but uh-huh. maybe the right way but there's different ways to do things, and it's just like all of this can unfold in a, in a matter of seconds. This, yeah, this episode just and even in, even the beginning, the whole you know dropping down and nighttime, you don't really know what's going on in the yeah. wrong you know a lot of people in the wrong landing zones, equipment's fall over the place. You don't have what you thought you did. Like fucking yeah. winners didn't even have a gun. Like, <laughs> right. I mean, you come in with this set plan. Like, they're so we drop in, we we take this, we move here, and it's yeah. just you're, you're the amount of twists these guys are thrown. It's just they have to drop ten, like what maybe like ten miles off their designated drop spot because like how can you yeah. plan for the chaos that is unfolding in those planes being like shot out of the sky? Yeah, you know, coal pilots getting shot. It's plane engines. Of exploding it's just... yeah we lost a, a another part of e-company uh with you know paul simon peg and then the Meehan guy mm-hmm. their, their plane went down um but we have seemingly our little group here of like winners billy uh, malarkey buck I'm trying to get the names down i'll get them down mm-hmm. um ad hall but he's gone one guy whose name i don't i don't know yeah they said in there like everyone's just scattered right now like yeah like you just don't know yeah a companies with e company d companies here like that's one day in that's one day one day one day man at least they've landed and then they got a uh, yeah they took us they took that marigolese i think it was yeah they took that they took that town (laughs) <laughs> they get an hour of rest and then they have to <laughs> go and take yeah. another place back out still 40 more germans on that on the few machine guns that remained yeah and, and winter's got that map which is really yeah definitely gonna be real helpful for them i think it's all i got really good i mean from like you know i just it's, yeah it's really good like I'm not, in terms of like war like stuff seems pretty good i'm not like no i'm a, no expert on it or anything mm-hmm. it just seems like realistic yeah I'm, i I really enjoyed this episode it felt they like shoot. 15 minutes yeah that like the the fighting scenes like when the dirt's flying like from the, the bullets and hitting the ground and it's, yelling can't hear each other fucking fumbling grenades fucking they do a decent job of giving you that like immersive experience in a way like just yeah that's kind of showing you what it's what it was <laughs> that one guy took two grenades <laughs> like oh what what was, God, the, was the first one it. yeah i think the first yeah. one was a dud maybe because i don't feel like it didn't no. go off yeah, I, don't, I don't know i feel like it exploded right there i don't know I boy that's his name that's the other guy okay yeah um and then the, the second one didn't come <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Here we are. couldn't I get was, out of the trench fast enough i know Oh, craziness man. that's you know yeah that's that's probably what it was like people that's like i said people probably definitely fumbled grenades and someone made a joke about fumbling grenades last episode it's funny that <laughs> it happened to buck well i feel like there's more experience but yeah, hey on, on, on the day you just don't bounce. know yeah. <laughs> he bounce and he freaking dropped the grenade someone bumped into him who took fucking a and it, I, mean, I did like that scene as well with the the other the German kid, well, the American, oh, but yeah. and he just turns around, and gave them all cigarettes, and then they all got gunned down. Yeah, I'm sure if anyone, someone out there watching, I'm sure knows, but I'm pretty positive it was something that Hitler was trying to do, is bring like pure Aryans, pure Germans, like back to create like a you know, master race sort of thing. That's what he was going for. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, any Germans try to get him to come back and fight. And uh, that's, that's just wild that the kid grew up in Eugene, or near Eugene, or yeah, I think he said Eugene, right? Yeah, Eugene. Um, 
Oregon. Just like, like, just like <laughs> malarkey. Yeah, literally just yeah. like malarkey. Would. They're on different sides. Same people, just their same upbringing and just... Yeah. Just that yeah, it sucks, but it's kind of... Yeah. It's war. And fortunately, that was probably the right call because you never know, you know, keeping enemies alive. Like, just... Yeah. There's just so much risk. Just, like, unnecessary I, risk. I feel like they tried to keep prisoners, but, like, maybe in this situation given it's d-day it's like uh, they have so much to focus on you can't really yeah uh, like have the time or resources food to, you know what i mean like to uh yeah to, to keep these guys prisoners and lock them up somewhere you know they gotta find somewhere to lock them up and people yeah, lock them. yeah it's it's yeah i don't know i wonder if that's what like would have been the decision i'm sure he didn't get punished for it so like no i doubt it I mean, um, it's just some that's just boring. necessary, but unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's war. Seemingly, this whole thing is going to be D Day, or at least most of it. Um, that was only one day, <laughs> the whole episode. Yeah. So, be curious. Well, D Day plus one now, and yeah, where they moved from here, and looking forward yeah. to it. I'm getting, I'm getting attached more to the characters and their relationships with each other, and you know. They a good scene with uh with winners and garnier in the back and yep. taking a sip of alcohol just kind of like having a i'm not a quaker by the way giving a, a quick little laugh a little return to the right you know, normal scene in some sense it was, it was a really good scene yeah you gotta have those kind of moments for sure another good episode i'm glad we're watching i love it absolutely yeah me too it's, glad uh, you're enjoying it too yeah. yeah, I'm really into it. Once I get, you know, I'll get these names down. I get, you know, I'm sure, you know, it'll be easier as we go along. And I'm just scared for everyone at all times. So it's great. I'm literally sweating right now. So it's fun. Yeah. But yeah. it's a testament how good it is. And I want to see more. For sure.